video will give you an overview about how to create a rolling credit sequence in Adobe Premiere CS6, something similar to what you'd see at the end of a movie or at the end of a TV show. Normally you do this once you've finished your edit, but for example purposes today, I've just got a countdown leader which will go straight into our rolling credits. So to create the rolling credits, we'll click on the new item button and go up to title. And I'm just gonna name it rolling oops, credits. Now the resolution, the frame rate, the pixel aspect ratio, you probably don't need to touch this. This will be based on your project sequence settings. So unless you've got some kind of weird project going on, you can probably leave those things alone. We'll press OK and we'll load up the Adobe Title Designer. So if you've ever created a credit before or a still title or whatever, you're probably quite familiar with this. Now if you've got some background video like I do here, we probably want to scrub ahead so we're just seeing a black background. This will be much easier for us to read our text and preview how things will look. So up the top, I'm going to move to the background video time code and just click and drag on that until I get a nice black background. Makes it easier to see my text. Now I could just type in my titles right now, but rather than wasting all that time, I'm just going to copy some titles I got off IMDB, just for an example. We'll tab back in, and with the type tool selected, I'll click somewhere within the frame, and I'm just going to paste in the titles I copied a moment ago from the Expendables 2. I'm just going to center these titles, and with my selection tool, I'm just going to move them into the center of the frame. That's all I'm going to do in terms of formatting. Normally, you'd spend a lot more time choosing your font, choosing your color, whether it's bold, italicized, all that sort of thing. But just for example's sake, we're going to run with this. At the moment, it's just a static title. It's not going to roll. We need to change an option, which is available under the Roll Crawl Options button. So our title type, we'll change that to Roll. We'll hit OK, and now we get a scroll bar, which gives us an indication about what things will look like at the beginning and what things will look like at the end. Now, there are a few other things I need to change, but just to get a sense of what this will look like, I'm going to close the title designer, grab that rolling credit, and place it at the end of my edit, and let's hit play and see how we look. Okay, so we have some rolling titles. They just don't quite work. They sort of start in the middle of the screen, they disappear at the end, they're scrolling a bit too quickly. We need to change a couple of things. Double click on the rolling credits, go back into the title designer, and we'll go back into the Roll Crawl Options dialog. First thing I'm going to do is tick the Start Off Screen button. So now, rather than starting in the middle of the screen, it'll start from the very bottom of the screen. I'm also going to enter two values into the Ease Out and Post Roll fields. So I've entered 25 in the Ease Out and 50 in the Post Roll. What does that actually mean? The Post Roll, to begin with, is how long the credits will pause for once they finish scrolling. So rather than just disappearing, they'll actually pause for a moment. Now I've entered a value of 50, which might seem like a lot, but this is specified in frames, not seconds. So I'm working at 25 frames per second, therefore, if I have 50 frames, it's going to, uh, it's going to pause for two seconds at the very end. The ease out, I've, spe uh, I've specified 25 frames, so one second in this instance. And what that actually is, is a deceleration at the end. So we have our credits scrolling at a certain speed, and then they sort of come to a gradual halt. They decelerate, similar to hitting the brakes when you're traveling in a car. This just looks a bit smoother than just suddenly stopping. I'll hit OK, and I'll scroll down. The last thing I'm going to do is just create a bit of extra space um, above this credit and maybe below. And you'll notice I keep scrolling down because this is what my final frame, the frame where it pauses for, is going to look like. Okay, I'm happy with that. Let's close that window. Okay, let's uh, zoom in. I'm just seeing the plus key to zoom in, and let's play that through once more. All right, we're nearly there. We can see that it's starting off the screen, scrolling up, and then it's coming to a nice gradual pause at the end and, and stopping just for a couple of seconds there but it's going way too fast now. We need to slow it down, and the way we do this is by grabbing the edge or the out point of the title sequence and dragging it out. So the longer it is, the slower the roll is going to be. So now, it's at a much more readable speed. We still have the problem, however, that at the end, it just disappears. So 
rather than it just disappearing, I'm going to add a cross dissolve. And the keyboard shortcut on a Mac is Command D. On a Windows machine, it's Control D. If we zoom in, we'll see it has in fact added the cross dissolve. So now we should get a nice fade out. Got our scrolling titles here. We get to the last one, it comes to a nice gradual stop, pauses, and then fades out. So this is looking a lot more professional now. Obviously, I need to do a bit more work with the, the formatting, the colors, the titles, etc. But in terms of a basic template for getting a rolling credit sequence up and going, hopefully this will get you on your way.